smoke could be seen coming from three Northcrest Court from blocks away, while the barn turned garage of John Tornquist erupted into flames. Firefighters soon came onto the scene to help extinguish the fire. But there was no stopping its vengeance by then, although the real loss by the end of the night was what that garage contained. On the second floor was a Brownell 1910. I've been building it for 20 years. As the firefighters fought what we now know was a losing battle, neighbors and friends looked on in mourning, and everyone could feel the loss that had occurred. Those cars were a symbol of pride for the neighborhood and the Tornquist family, especially John, who worked tirelessly on these cars. Looking on, many wondered how this could have happened to such great people. I've been doing some welding, and Jeanette called dinner was ready, so turned off the welder and came in, and well, we weren't there 10 minutes when we were just popped. The fire, however, was not the only incident of the night. The Tornquist's basement started to flood with water from the firefighters' hoses, but neighbors stepped in to help, clearing away the water. Although, through the darkness of such a sad day, John seems to be able to find a little light. They're just, they're just things, you know, nobody got hurt and uh, we, can, we can go on from here. In the end, this family is still mourning some incredible cars and some great memories. And yet, they still know what's truly important, family. I'm Liz Kramer, reporting for TV Time.